I just felt devastated. I mean, I can't even think of other words. I mean, I was, I was scared. I was shocked. I mean, I was scared. I was in denial. I mean, I didn't believe her until I saw the uh, pregnancy tests. I just had this feeling in like the pit of my stomach. It wasn't because I was sick or showing any signs, but it was just something that I knew I felt in my heart. I already had one son and I wasn't getting any help with him. And then having another one and not having any help and I'm not financially stable. I didn't want my parents to have to help me raise this child. Some stupid decision that two teenagers made, which was only about us at the time and we never thought about anyone else, is now huge, blown up and affecting so many people. I also felt like I was still a child myself. I didn't feel emotionally ready to teach the life's lessons to a child at 17. She asked me what I was feeling, what I was thinking, and just said, you know, we're gonna get through this and I'm, I'm here, we're all here, we love you, we are, we're always gonna love you. The first thing was helping her and supporting her make whatever decision she wanted to make and make sure it was the right one for her. Normally in my ethnic group, people usually just go ahead and it'll work itself out, I guess you would say. It really boiled down to neither one of us were comfortable with abortion and um, we weren't sure what our future looked like. I wanted my child to know what it was like to have two parents that love each other. So we really started looking into adoption. I was going back and forth for so long. I remember the night that I finally made the decision and I, I went into my mom's room and I, I, you know, I cried for hours and I, and I told her I can't do it and they deserve more. And, you know, and I, and I knew that's what was going to be best for them. I've been working with birth mothers and birth families, birth fathers, birth grandparents, sometimes aunts and uncles for over 14 years. The lessons I've learned from them are number one, that these are not unwanted babies and unwanted children. These are moms who are able to put the needs of their child first and look at what's best for their child as far as providing stability and opportunity. And I've learned that the moms who are able to follow through to accept this kind of a loss, and it is a very difficult loss, are able to grieve that loss and walk through to the other side stronger and more mature.